going everybody? I'm Andrew Goldfarb. This is Mitch Dyer. We just came back from LA where we saw Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And Mitch, a few months ago you wrote an article called Call of Duty is Boring and Needs to Change. Did I? And you did. It was great. It was great. Read it on IGN.com. I'm curious to see what you think now that you've seen the change. Like, do you, do you think it evolved? Do you think it's more of the same? Like, how do you feel about Black Ops 2? So what's, what stands out to me is the new Strike Force mode, which is the exact kind of thing I'm looking for in a new Call of Duty. It's a new mode with a totally new approach. It's, uh, it's a lot more strategic. It's, what are they, they're events in the campaign. Right, so basically Strike Force mode is, you'll get to these missions in the campaign that are like, they're like a sandbox, and you can basically control a plane or your soldier or whoever you want, and the most notable thing being that you can fail these missions. That right, they have, right. like, if you fail one of these missions and say Vancouver or wherever you're playing, if that falls, then later in the campaign, the fact that Vancouver fell will like impact the story. What's most interesting to me is just the way that those missions unfold. Like, it's not the traditional Call of Duty, you have a big machine gun, you run straight forward and shoot things. You can do that, but you have a, a very strategic objective, and you can pull out your camera and just kind of give issues to individual guys. Uh, you can take control of a UAV and use the gun on that. You have all these different options, and it just gives you so much more variety in the context of a objective-based mission. And that's awesome. I can't wait to play Strike Force. That's kind of what I'm looking forward to, because the campaign, as impressive as it is, is kind of more of the same, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, the campaign was really great, like, the demo we saw was awesome, uh, but, yeah, I mean, it still felt like Call of Duty, like, it still felt like more of the, you know, right. it felt like an action movie, so, like, the, the mission we saw, you're tasked with protecting the president, and you're in L.A. while it's, like, under attack from drones and other soldiers and all this stuff, and it definitely still felt, you know, there were scripted events, there were the big set pieces, there were, like, the things... Cars almost hit you in the face five Yeah, you times. duck under them, yeah, yeah. exactly. The, the thing I thought was cool about it, though, was that, like, you know, this game's set in the future, uh, in 2025, and when I heard that, I was a little bit apprehensive because, like, I don't want, like, crazy space buildings and, like, right. you know, you don't want, like, flying cars. You don't want it to be so far in the future that you can't connect to it. But what was cool about it was that it was downtown L.A. It was the L.A. we know and love. You know, the buildings were the same. The skyline looked familiar. <laughs> we well, it's the L.A. we know and have been <laughs> to. It's, it's weird because, like, we go there every year for E3. That's where E3 is. And we know that very specific area around the Staples Center. And it's weird to see that area filled with... Right. Horrible things. That was the thing, like, their, their E3 demo, this is the demo they'll be showing at E3, was, you, it took place where E3 is. So you'll basically be standing there playing that demo while the building you're in, you're, like, <laughs> watching it explode. Right. Like, it was, it was kind of cool that they did it that way, but, um, yeah, it remains to be seen if, like, every mission can maintain that, you know, I just touched you, sorry, I like that. Um, yeah, it, it'll be interesting seeing if, like, they can maintain that, or if it'll be, like, you know, too scripted in the right. other levels, you know, yeah, feel yeah. more like Call of Duty, but... E3 is only a couple weeks away. Uh, I assume this demo will probably be shown at Microsoft's press that conference. That makes the most sense. Yeah, that's where you can probably expect to see it. Um, but for the latest updates, stay tuned to IGN.com.